SecurityCameraKing.com. In this video, I will show you the difference between mainstream and extra stream or substream on your DVRs or IP cameras. So, on this demonstration, I, I will be uh, playing around with uh, 16 channel Mini HD. This uh, unit has pretty much the same interface as all of our DVRs and IP cameras. So, I'm going to log into it and you have to go to config and on this left menu here you're gonna go to encode this is the interface where you configure how the DVR is gonna be recorded the resolutions the frames per second and the bitrate and how much bandwidth each camera is gonna be pulling from your network among other things, you can uh, enable audio. This is the place where you enable audio for the channel you want to enable audio from. And you can uh, set watermarks if you want to, so the uh, footage is not be tampered with. Uh, the color settings for each camera. This is an individual setting per camera. This is as per camera basis. Okay. Uh, here you can name the camera however you want it. You can put test camera if you want to that's how it's going to display in the on the DVR and uh, to begin with this demonstration I'm going to explain the mainstream this option is basically how the DVR is going to be recorded and what resolution is going to be recorded how many frames per second and the uh, bitrate or the bandwidth that it's going to be pulling from your network so by default uh, this is how the DVR is going to come configured it's going to be configured like this. For the mainstream, um, you're going to be uh, configured as SIF at 30 frames per second. SIF 30 frames per second. And the bit rate is going to be uh, CBR, uh, which is constant bit rate. And the bit rate is going to be at 640 kilobits per second. So this is an OK resolution. Uh, this unit in particular uh, can be configurable to D1 on channel 1 and D1 on channel 9 at 30 frames per second. Among other DVRs we have like the Ultimate and the Hybrid DVR. Uh, they are able to record at D1 at 30 frames per second on all of the channels. Except the DVR, the Hybrid DVR, it's, uh, it's a 20 channel DVR, it's a 16 channel uh, analog uh, ports and it has four channels that they are digital. Those four channels that are digital are supporting uh, 1080p resolution for IP cameras but the rest of the uh, from channels 1 through 16 are uh, you can configure those at D1 at 30 frames per second on all of the channels from 1 through 16. So uh, we recommend to configure the DVRs or this kind of DVR that do not support D1 on, on the 16 channels you can configure it at D1, but uh, of course you cannot configure it at 30 frames per second on all of the channels. It will be okay if you configure it at D1 at 7, so you can record on all of the channels at D1, but at 7 frames per second, which is okay. It's not a bad quality. It's not a uh, you know if you look at the footage, it's not going to be as fluent as you know. It's not going to be as real time when you're recording at 30 frames per second, but it's decent. It's a good resolution and I'm pretty sure you're gonna be okay by configuring these units like this unless that you have an ultimate DVR or a hybrid DVR for the bitrate we recommend it to be uh, CBR and the reason why is it's constant bitrate it's always going to allocate the amount of bandwidth you have set under the bitrate if you configure this as variable bitrate the DVR it's going to allocate m more uh, bandwidth to the object that has been on the camera. So if an object is moving and the object is big enough, the camera or the DVR is going to focus on that particular object and it's going to allocate more bandwidth to it and it will degrade the rest of the picture. It's going to be kind of a pixelated. And this is to decrease the amount of bandwidth being pulled from your network. I mean, you always want it to have uh, you know a constant uh, good quality picture so that's why we recommend it uh, to use uh, as a constant bitrate I mean this option is here because some 
networks are not capable of handling you know a lot of bandwidth so you're gonna have to you know tweak a little bit this portion here and as well as the quality and you are probably gonna have to sacrifice a little bit of your footage but you you still recording at D1 which is the highest resolution it's not that bad but we always recommend CBR uh, this option should be 1024 why because as much bandwidth the camera has as better the quality will be if you have again uh, lower resolution uh, on your bandwidth or, or in your network and you always wanted to watch the movies using the mainstream which is not recommended you can do it but it's not recommended uh, you can you're gonna have to lower this down if you don't have a strong network especially when you try to view the cameras remotely that's with uh, you know with uh, for example AT&T AT&T is not as fast as uh, cable and uh, you probably gonna have to lower down the the bit rate but as I said again you lower down the bit rate it's lower the resolution okay it will degrade a little bit the picture so we always recommend it to have a D1 at 7 CBR and 1024 for this particular DVR then uh, on your extra stream or your sub stream this is what you will use <coughs> excuse me to view the DVR or view your cameras over your phone your iPhone, Android, Blackberry, uh, you will use this configuration. Okay? So, one thing you gotta uh, make sure you have is this set up as SIFT. QSIF, the picture is, it's not really good for when you're viewing it on your phone. It's gonna be uh, pixelated. But the option is there. So, we recommend it to do, to be uh, SIF at 7 because you cannot go higher than that because it's the substream. So, it, you are forced to use seven frames per second which is okay on the uh, you will see it on on your phone just fine CBR as well <coughs> and here you can lower the resolution the, I'm sorry the bit rate this is not gonna decrease the resolution remember the mainstream is for your resolution and recording the substream is for your viewing so this you can lower it down I, I will say 96 kilobits per second it's fine because you can only view uh, one camera at the time anyway so uh, this is what we recommend to set it up as you can copy this to all channels click OK and you click save okay uh, if you wanted to configure um, like the color settings for a particular camera this is as per camera basis so let's say you wanted to increase the brightness on camera one you're gonna have to you know open go to channel one and then under color settings click set this menu will pop up here and then you will increase the brightness if you want to and uh, that will affect just that particular channel it will not even if you copy and paste it will not affect it on all of the channels um, another thing you can do here is the time display you can uh, basically move the time display into a different place on your screen so here you will you can put them in here and here however you want it uh, by default is, is set in there so that is fine uh, here the cover area you can cover some uh, of your let's say if you have on the picture a door that you don't want uh, you know people to see while you're while they're watching the DVR or the footage on the DVR you can just basically uh, set that to monitor and click set and then the channel will open here and then you will be able to just drag a place in this case I'm, let me show you I have a camera plugged in on channel 15 You've got mail. and um, I will demonstrate that by going to cover area monitor set here for example uh, let's say that this is a place that I don't want anybody to see I just go ahead and put it in there and just hold the mouse and then you just drag it or just drag the mouse and then here you can move that area now this is gonna be blocked or is gonna be masked at the DVR but the record the footage is gonna be without it so this is just for viewing okay and once I'm done 
click OK. And if I open the camera, you will see you will not see it there. But if you go to the DVR, it's going to be there. OK. Uh, as you see here, this is the, the place that I'm masquerading right now. And here is um, how you clear that section. You just click there, clear, and then it will, go, it will be gone. Okay. Uh, I don't need this configuration here, so I will save my configurations. So, as you see, uh, on channel 15, this is uh, the DVR is recording at D1 at 7 frames per second at 1024 uh, kilobits per second. So that's what it's going to be pulling from that particular camera. Um, and this is internally on my network. So if you see here, it's going to be increasing. And uh, as I said before, I mean, it depends how the network is. It, it's not going to go below this, and it's not going to go above this. So whatever you configure here, it's not going to go above or below it, or, you know, below 100. So right now, I'm pulling 745 kilobits per second on that particular channel. Now, if you look at it, the resolution, it's decent. It's good. Then if I go and close this, and if you go to each camera, you will see a little drop-down arrow there. You can click on it, and you choose Extra Stream. Now, I'm, I'm going to be using the information or the resolution that I set, which was SIF at 7. If you see the resolution, it's a little bit uh, foggy, and the reason why is because of the resolution. I set it up at SIF, and this is the substream, so this is for viewing only. Now, if I change this to QSIF, you will notice that the picture will will be uh, very bad. I can, if you go to QSIF, you are able to go to up to 30 frames per second. If I click save and I close it. the camera is it's not good the resolution is not really good uh, again we recommend it to be on SIF recommended to be on SIF CBR 7 frames per second 64 kilobits is fine or you can go higher if you want to you're gonna copy that to all the channels and by the way you couldn't see that because I wasn't on that channel in particular but if I choose QSIF and save it you will see like the camera is foggy now because it's set to QSIF. So whatever configurations you're doing here, it will affect how you will you are viewing the camera live, but not the recording. Now, if you change this, the mainstream, you first of all you have to close this and open the camera using the mainstream. Right now it is a D1. But if I choose SIF and save it, you see the camera is foggy now. And if I choose QSIF, it's going to be very bad. It's not going to be very foggy. You're not going to be able to see anything. And this is going to, this right now is affecting the way that the DVR is recording. So if I try to pull footage at that time, it's going to be foggy. It's not going to be really good. So be careful. Uh, so make sure that your mainstream is always at D1 at 7 frames per second. If you have this type of DVRs, the mini HDs, the economies, um, and the ELs are able to record at D1 at 7 and uh, the ultimates and the hybrid DVRs are able to record at uh, 30 frames per second of D1 on the, uh, from 1 through 16 and the four channels, the digital channels are able to record as 1080p for IP cameras. Okay, I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.